Your, your mom is here. Where's your mom? Hi, mom. So how does this feel to hear like another girl at school saying such awful things about your daughter? It's awful. Mm -hmm. I mean, my daughter, she's such a compassionate person. She, she sticks up for the underdog. You know, she really, she tries to save people. She mm -hmm. has a little brother with cerebral palsy, so she just, she's a very compassionate girl, and I just, it just makes me sick. Mm -hmm. Makes me sick. Lindsay, so you say that you're jealous of Taylor, and mm -hmm. that's why you did these things. One thing, when Taylor, when Taylor um, heard about this, she got revenge on you, right? Mm -hmm. So what was your revenge, Taylor, for her doing this about I you? came up to her at, in person, smoke break, and I said, what about this burn book? And I started screaming, because of course I was upset, you know. You would be mad if you found out that you were in a book like this and all this terrible yeah, but if you did, if but you didn't like me at first you didn't like me at first I didn't Why like did you, you because you were not nice to people and I don't like people who but aren't nice to other people I don't want a friend like that and so what was your revenge tell us my revenge was I called her out at school in front of a lot of people and she didn't say anything back to me at school she just said okay Taylor okay Taylor and then I get on my space she gets behind the keyboard, and then all this terrible stuff's written about me on MySpace. Like, terrible, like, probably worse than this. On MySpace. Oh, can I say something? Yeah. Um, her, I wrote uh, this big, long thing after she had written the email to me. Okay, what did you say to her I wrote her a private email that no one could see but her. And I just wanted to make her feel like she made me feel. Mm -hmm. And everybody else in this book, because my friends are also in this book, too. What did you say? I, j I said some really terrible things. I don't really remember everything I said. Do you know what but, she said? What did yeah, she say? Yeah, because this is what she, well, there was a lot of stuff in there, and I didn't really care about the name calling, you know, just like the, all the other stuff. But then she said, you know, if you, why don't you go kill yourself because nobody would care if you died and stuff, you know, that just hurt. You don't say that to somebody, you I know? just wanted to make you feel pain. Because we felt I would pain. never Everyone tell you to die, Taylor. Pain. I would never tell you to die. I would never tell somebody to die. I've never said that in my life to anybody. That just do you want me? Do you want me to? No, I really honestly? Would, I would not want you to die, Lindsay. So she told you to kill yourself, and what happened when she told you that? I just, I just got really. She sent really me nervous. another mean message back. I didn't send you like, one back, Taylor. It wouldn't let me. Oh well, I thought you did. These so are this all is my just friends. back and forth. So yeah, that's all your friends. So let's just talk about this. Do you guys know about the, the Megan Muir story about um, the cyberbullying and the girl committed suicide because she was hearing negative things and she killed herself? I'm not, I'm by no means, Taylor, am I saying that you're an awful person. Yeah. You did something in self-defense, but I do think you took it too far. Yeah, I did take um, it too far with that. But do you understand, Lindsay, the pain that you're making people go through by doing but something it, like this and it I getting know. out? And I you know. say that it's meant to be in private. Yeah. There are so many things that are done in private it doesn't mm -hmm. mean that it's okay. A lot of abuse happens in private. A lot of things happen when no one is looking. And it doesn't mean it's okay because no one is looking. Mm -hmm. What do you have to say to Taylor? I just want, you know, I'm sorry. I don't want to, you know, not be able to be, like, in the same room and, you know, us wanting to choke each other, basically. Yeah. I'm just, I'm really, really, I'm truly, I'm seriously, I know you, you might not blame me, but I really, really, really am sorry, Taylor. I'm really... I'm sorry. I just really, really am sorry. I really feel like you're sincere about this. I Lindsay. swear to I you, really Taylor. Do. I'm and really I'm, sorry. And I'm, I apologize for that message. I was just, I read that stuff you had on your MySpace and it just made me so mad. And that was, and I just have, I just get mad and I say stupid stuff too. Okay. So you guys are made up? Yeah. Think? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Yeah. I'm sorry. And you know what? Can I have this? I'm going to take this. Burn book, and you know what I'm gonna do with it? Burn I'm gonna it. burn it. You're never gonna see it ever again. Ever, Good. ever, ever again. Okay? I'm gonna burn this. We'll be right back. I was just talking to Lindsay, and, and she admitted to her best friends that she was ravingly jealous of them and that they, she needed to get it out in the open. But Kamisha says that her best friend, Shanquita, refuses to be honest about how jealous she is of Kamisha. So this is the opposite. Your friend is jealous of you. Yes. Okay, so tell me about uh, Shanquita and why she's jealous <laughs> of you. 
Well, I've known Shanquita since high school, so since like 2000. And so recently, she's just been so jealous. Like for the past two years, she's been so jealous. Jealous of you. Okay, yes. so I understand like, you know, you get your hair done a certain way. Yes, and... clothes, which she's like always in competition with me, like far as clothes, shoes, guys, you name it. Hair, guys. Okay, tell me about your new boyfriend. You had a boyfriend and he met Shanquita and how well, was she? Well, my past relationship. Okay. I had a boyfriend and so we were all going out. And as soon as he walked in, oh my gosh, her face dropped. Like when she saw him, I guess, you know, she wanted to take his clothes off and just go run away your with Your man? Him. Yes, my boyfriend. She was drooling for your man? Yes. Okay. <laughs> it's been it's crazy. Okay, was that the first guy that she'd ever done that with or does she have a pattern? Uh, yeah, he's the first guy. He's the first one that she did that with. Yes. And then your hairdresser called you and said what? Yes, that, okay, we both go to the same hairdresser now. And so... Because she's trying to get your hair. <laughs> so she goes to your hairdresser. Okay. Yes, and she called me saying that she was talking about me, saying how cute he was and just basically how cute he was. I'm like, wow. Just a little too much. Yeah, too much. Like, say he's fine and yeah, like, girl, good luck, he's fine. Right. Not, girl, he's fine. All right. <laughs> It's a difference. All right. Yeah, and I've had friends say it different kind of ways, really? too. Uh-huh, and the ones that say it like this, I'm like, that's a bitch. Yeah. Uh-huh, <laughs> I know what you're talking about. Okay, so, and I, I, you were in a bad relationship before, so you thought that she would be happy for you, yes. right? And with this new guy, but you saw her drooling. Yes, and, and I didn't like that at all. Okay, and um, there's also another reason about behind the jealousy. You don't have children. No, like, I really, I, I don't want kids. Mm -hmm. And so I never do. It's just my choice. And... She called me selfish because, a selfish person because I don't want kids and she's a single parent and mother mm. and I guess I'm free to do what I want to do when I want to do it and you know, I feel that's my choice. If I don't want to have kids choice. and I don't want to have kids, what's that have to do with you? Yeah, you don't have to have babies if you don't want to have babies. All right. Okay. <laughs> well, Shanquita, come on out. Hello, Shanquita. Hello. Hi. So tell me about your relationship with Kamisha. How, how, what kind of friendship do you guys have? Um, we have a really good friendship. We've been friends for a long time. I, I love her to death. She's my child's godmother. Okay. We just, we're in competition a lot now about simple things, materialistic things, and it's getting to the point that sometimes I wish we're not friends anymore. Oh, really? Yes. Okay, well, I know, Kamisha, you want to say something to Shanquita? She yes. says it's a competition. You think it's something else. Yes, I feel that it's a competition, but also I think it's jealousy. So Who's jealous of who? <laughs> oh, I think you're jealous of me. No. No way. <laughs> Sorry. You don't think so? <laughs> no, no, no. Well, our surroundings and people around us really feel strongly about that. Yeah. So. You're not jealous of her? <laughs> no. Not at no all? No reason to be. No. Not at all? No. You told my all. producers you were. I'm not jealous of her. I'm jealous of the fact that I'm a single mother, and all my extra money goes to my child. Mm -hmm. So when it comes down to it, I'm just the fact that she could just purge and do whatever she pleases. That's okay. what I'm just about. And so what's hard about being her friend besides that? <sighs> just she's kind of stuck up. So when we go out, I have to, you know, try to, I have to try to tell people she's not exactly how she seems. You have to defend her. I have to defend her. <laughs> you have to defend me? When? Yes. Like when we went out there one night to Evansville, and everybody's like, why is she walk around looking stuck up? Why is she have her nose up in her? And I had to defend you. You did? Yeah, because they didn't want to bring you back anymore. I had to defend you. Uh, I don't remember that. Mm -hmm. So you said she's always trying to impress people, and you're just trying to keep up. What does that mean, Shanquita? I'm just trying to keep up with the styles the best I can because I spend all my money on my son, so whatever money I do have for myself, I try to keep up. She comes here every day with bags and... Okay. I know I, sometimes you said you feel insecure sometimes. When yes, you, When I do you feel insecure? I feel insecure when she comes in with bags and talks about how she's going here and there and spending time with her boyfriend. She doesn't spend time with me anymore, so her shopping all the time makes me feel insecure because I don't have as many clothes as she has. If you've seen her closet, you will know what I'm talking about. Okay, well, K Kamisha brought some pictures that she wanted us to see. Let's see these pictures. Look like you're keeping up just fine to me. It looks like a very similar dress there. Yeah. <laughs> it's kind of similar again. You guys look like you're going to an amusement park. You know when people dress alike at the amusement park? <laughs> Six flags. Okay. So, very similar. 
It feels a little uh, twinish to me. <laughs> Who's copying who? I don't, I don't